Okay, in this video, I'd like to simulate a low voltage differential signaling uh, circuit. What we're going to do is build something similar to this circuit in this paper here. This paper is called High Speed LVDS Driver for CERDES. If you're not familiar with CERDES, CERDES is, uh, stands for Serialization or Serializer Deserializer. And it's just the two words combined in a port, portmanteau or something like that. And it takes data that is not serialized and serializes it into this bitstream here. Then the deserializer deserializes that bitstream into uh, parallel data. So that's it. But what's beneficial, what's super awesome is that this can, this protocol, this method can do this uh, serialization and deserialization and sending of the data at very high speeds. So to demonstrate that, we'll do this at, say, 1.4 gigahertz for this circuit. All right, and I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm not going to build it with these switches here. I'm actually going to use two vol pulsed voltage sources. Okay, quick note. Uh, if you want to follow along using your own version or copy of Altium Designer, use the special link in the description below, and that will take you directly to an Altium Designer free trial. If you use that link, you'll be fine. You're going to come to this page, enter your credentials, your information, you'll get uh, access to the link very quickly to your email, and then you can get started. You can use it for two full weeks, completely free, Altium Designer free trial. So first of all, let's open up Altium and then we'll go to the simulate table. Now you won't see this by default. You have to actually go to your profile, choose extensions and updates, and then add it, the mixed sim uh, option to your Altium software. Then you need to restart Altium and then you'll see it. So let's go to simulate. We'll place sources. This is a standard voltage source here that we're going to place. And it doesn't show. That's interesting. Okay. So place simulation generic component. It's called VSRC. Double click and place it. I place another one. And immediately I like to just give my voltage sources different names because something weird happens sometimes if I don't do that. So that's good. Next, we need a transmission line. So what we see here, this is a transmission line. And it's broken up, you know, imagine it's some long cable. So how do we model that we we'll go to the simulation, uh, excuse me, the components option for simulation generic components. And there's actually something called um, TL loss, uh, TL lossless. That's transmission line lossless. So I'll double click and place that. Then we have an op amp. Op amp to get the difference between the uh, differential voltage signals we'll be sending in. Flip that over. I want a capacitor. Place that and I'll get ground. Place two grounds and a third one there. So now I will make my connections. Right. Here we go. And then for the transmission line, we'll double click and set the frequency to 1.4 gigahertz. For this transmission delay, we'll set to one nanosecond. For the characteristic impedance, I'll leave it at 50 ohms. For the gain on this op amp, I'll set it to one. Now let's, uh, let's just, Let's see what we're going to do here. All right. For the voltage sources, I will set this to a pulse voltage source. 
the pulse value would be 300 millivolts and let's see short rise time short fall time all set to one pico now this is set automatically for me based on my previous setting but you have to set this manually all right so use my settings here uh even the pulse width set at the 0 0.357 nano which is half of the period the period is 0 0.71 nano seconds why did i use this period because this is the inverse of the frequency of 1.4 gigahertz for the v for this other v source let's add that to pulse yeah it looks like it it, it uh, adopted the um my previous settings there but notice the difference here this v source starts off with uh, 300 millivolts this other v source starts off with zero millivolts and that's intentional because I want the signals to be alternating uh, the difference as they go into here. That's similar to that uh, reproduces what we see here if we had this circuit set up. I'm intentionally leaving off the resistor to see uh, what happens. Okay, by the way, if you'd like to share your PCB designs, you can upload your Gerber files or KiCad or Altium Designer uh, source files into this Altium 365 online viewer, and anybody will be able to see your design from the link that's generated on this website. What's going to happen, what we expect to happen, is this is a transmission line that has some delay in there, and without a termination resistor to match to have matching characteristic impedances and whatnot we would expect to see reflections affecting the signal with this transmission line being long enough uh, 0 0.25 of the of the nominal wavelength or nominal or you know of the transmission line and that wavelength has an equation so you need to calculate that but anyway so by default, this is set to 0 0.25. We are going to see reflections. So let me show you. First, I'll go to Tools, Annotate, Annotate Schematic Quietly, Save. Then the Simulation Dashboard, I'll start my verification. Everything checks out. Let's go to Preparation, and we'll add a probe. I'll add a voltage probe and put it on my output. I'll set this voltage probe to say something like a red color. I also want to see the difference, well, maybe not the difference. Mm, I want to see, actually, yes, the difference between the two input voltages. So do voltage difference on here and on here. That difference I'll set to something like a blue or maybe like a bright, whatever that color is aqua or something now what i should get on the input is ones and zeros one zero one zero one zero what i should get on the output i'd like it to be one zero one zero and it should be but it may not be as clean so let's do our analysis setup go to transient and i set this time period to this this simulation runtime to five nanoseconds in fact, let's set it to a little more, like 10 nanoseconds, and then run it. All right, so our input signal is gives us 101010, right? I wish we could modify the bitstream to have a bunch of different uh, random patterns, but we can with this. We we'll do 10101, and then the output, uh, it gets 101010, but it's getting all these reflections right we don't have a good termination on this transmission line it's still giving us the one zeros but look at here we have issues so even some intersymbol interference or wrong information or data uh mismatched timing on here so a host of issues so let's go ahead and add a resistor go to simulate Play simulation generic component, you know, get your resistor there. 
Oops. Okay. I'm going to set this to 100 ohms. And let's see if this will improve it. Now, you know what? I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this. This output. Move that to the side. And my resistor is, doesn't have a designation. So it's a tools annotate. Um, annotate quietly. Okay. The simulation dashboard, I will run my transient simulation again and see if that improves the signal. So, okay, let's take a look. This does improve the signal. It does by a good amount. Here, there, were, there was stuff just all over the place. We didn't even know what matches, which, which on the output, the red output matched the input, uh, aqua signal but here in this new simulation while we do still have reflections at least there's a pattern see it's periodic these reflections are still a problem though so now this is where we get into tuning and changing of things now that you know that, oh, well, I'm going to re get reflections if I use this kind of resistor over this line over uh, a certain distance or whatnot. You can play with these different numbers. You can even uh, go back to your simulation dashboard and do some kind of sweeps. You know, some kind of uh, analysis where you, a piecewise kind of variation for your R1 or something. So let's do 150. All right. So we get our updated simulation. There's some breakdown over here for the signal. At least it's more periodic and not um, ridiculous like this. But see, so we have to look at what are our what are different termination strategy options. What else can we do to fix this and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show you, that it's possible to simulate this, and you could use really any circuit simulator, but uh, I just wanted to show you this in Altium. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.